So this weekend, Classic Car Auctions is happening at Stony Park in Warwickshire. Uh, now this auction is absolutely phenomenal. There's something here for everybody. It's a classic car all the way from a little MG midget with just 40 miles on the clock, all the way up to a Jaguar XKR uh, with 42,000 miles on the clock. It's like literally something at every price point. There are some amazing cars, beautifully presented. And here's my rundown, my favorite six. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what to do. What do I do? Do I salute or bow? Do I curtsy? What do you do when you stand in front of a 1961 Bentley S2 standard steel body? I just don't know because it's such a breathtaking car. This car is lot number 735, showing just 80,000 miles. Truthfully, it looks like it's done 8,000 miles. The paintwork, you could dive into it. You go for a swim in that paintwork. It's utterly flawless. Also, the bright work on the car, all the chrome, is flawless. Inside, you've got that full walnut bird dashboard with the proper period correct clocks. You've got beautiful, sumptuous grey leather. It is just a thing to behold, this car. I really want this in my life. I so want it in my life. I just don't know if I could fit it in my garage, but it's a beautiful car, so good luck. I mean, seriously. It's exactly how I feel when I stand in front of lot number 744. This is one of my all time favorite cars on the planet. I make no bones about it, I've said it before. This is probably the best point to point car ever, ever made. It's the 1992 Lancia Delta Integrale Evo 1. This one is finished in Michelin's red, which is a, a race winning color. It's got the compromotive alloys, a black leather interior. Left hand drive, which is correct. If you ever see a right hand drive one, it's been converted. Um, absolutely stunning car. It will go around a corner and stick like poo to a blanket, this car. And uh, it will put a smile on your face when you come out the other side. It is one of the best all time cars you'll ever drive in your life. And seriously, I would love it in my collection. It's a belter. I just don't want to touch it. That's real filth, that's real dirt on that car, real barn dirt. And there's a reason why it's real barn dirt. This is a very, very rare opportunity. Lot number 701 is a 1500cc MG Midgets. And get this, it may not look like it, but that's a brand new car. Yes, a brand new car. It's unregistered, it's never been registered. In fact, it's only got 44 delivery miles on the clock, admittedly, it could do with a clean and it could do with a little bit of work. It's going to need recommissioning back for the road, but what an opportunity to buy a car. It's essentially brand new all the way back from 1979. It really is a back to the future car, if you like. Uh, so yeah, lot number 701, a very rare opportunity to buy a very special MG Midget and probably the only one with that miles anywhere in existence on the planet. So uh, what a cracking car, whatever you do, just don't clean it because it says on the screen, don't clean it. It's better left dirty. I just want to go back to 1997. I just want to be there. I just want to be able to go in the BMW dealership and come away with this car. I absolutely love it. Look at me, I've sat inside it. I want to take ownership of this BMW E46 M3 Evo in Estoril Blue. Do you know why? 16,800 miles on the clock. It was only serviced 40 miles ago. The car feels just like it's brand new, like it's fresh out the showroom. I just absolutely love it. The color, the stance, I love everything about it. This is an absolute belter of a car and one that some lucky person is gonna go away with this Saturday, as simple as that. I'm gonna be a very jealous man. This is lot number 741. This is a 2000 Jaguar XKR. Why I've chosen this car out is because not only is it flawless, absolutely exceptional, it's only done 42,000 miles, one owner from new. And that is such a rarity these days. This car is now over two decades old and it's one owner from new with only 42,000 miles. And I think those 42,000 miles have been really enjoyed because this car looks absolutely flawless on the paintwork. The interior, that black leather with the walnut dashboard is flawless. The carpets are good. The car's just a good all-round car. And these are coming into their own. The prices 
of XKRs are going up and I reckon this could be a really good price point so it's a nice one. There is a brace of minis going through this Saturday at Classic R Auctions and they are very nice it looks like I'm on the set of the Italian job doesn't it? Uh, we've got a blue one we've got this lovely red one but I've chosen two particular cars out this one because as everyone knows my all-time favorite car in the world is a early mark one mini cooper s this is a 1964 registered 65 mini cooper s same as my car almost identical to my car when i found it as well it's red mine's now green back to its original color but this one is really 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 special do you know why Twenty-four thousand miles one owner from new single tank car as well which proves it's an early car that is an absolute belter and that is going to be pride of place in anyone's collection but the next one is also interesting because the next one is a 2000 rover mini cooper and this one belonged to the famous actress brett eckland actually she drove this car all the way to sweden still on its swedish plates she drove it all the way there back in 2014 and back here in 2019 and she's just left it here because she's in a play in london at the moment for sale and uh, she wants it sold it has got a little bit of work needs doing it's got a little hole in the driver's door so the mot uh, advisory plus i've seen some other little chips and marks around it. it needs a little bit of tidying up but being that it's ex brett eckland car the only car that she's ever truthfully owned plenty of cars that she's associated with but this is the only car she's ever truly owned lot number 796 is a proper little famous film star car brett eckland's mini nice sold yes that's the sound you could be hearing if you was to turn up here at classic car auctions on saturday that's this saturday the auction starts at 11 a.m and there are so many cars to choose from hope you enjoyed my top six because there's loads of cars out there I could have chosen. So I suggest you go through the online auction catalog and have a look for yourself. If you can't get it to the physical sale and put your hand in the air, make sure you register to bid online. But I know any one of these cars that you go away with, you've got a nice little profit in the future. So everyone out there, good luck.